Okay. Sir? Yes, sir. Let's continue. Yes, sir. sir. Okay. Okay. So here we have. Uh, okay. So this sentence we couldn't complete in the previous session, but we'll, let's continue. Thoughtless. Thoughtless means alo chena leni. Okay. Non means alo chena. Alo chena. Alo chena. So to bring that long vowel sound, I put ye letter here. Alo chena. Thoughtless alo chena leni. Okay. You seem to be so thoughtless. Okay. So translation just a mirror translate mirror all over the lake on the panel what chase to narrow at one meaning goes to me little chala all over the right and the kind of history now yeah this is okay so lady or right and the both are same and the interchangeable but the right and the is mostly used in the written but it's okay in this context in spoken version also miru chala Chala alo chena, alo chena, rahitanga, kanipistu naru, rahitanga kanipistu naru. Okay. So, we could have, whenever you have, like you seem, you seem, you seem, means miru kanipistu naru. Miru kanipistu naru. So, later we will have some more sentences with this structure, but let's complete the, this one. Uh, to be so thoughtful, thoughtless. Okay. Chala alochana rahitanga. Chala means so. So on a day. So uh, to be miru chala alochana rahitanga unnat luga. You can say unnat luga. So unnat luga means to be. So so means chala. Now it will be more clear to you to understand the individual words. Now uh, how could you be so thoughtless? Okay, this one we'll discuss later, but let's make some small, small sentence practice or phrase practice with this one. You seem, so whenever you, you we have like you plus or he or any subject, subject plus seem, okay, uh, you seem, then it can be like adjective adjective so in this one in this structure we'll make some more sentence and you seem uh, angry you seem angry does it sound good and this sentence very small sentence okay. for practice okay. yes so uh just my intention you... each very simple structure then we'll go further with uh, lengthy sentences Miru anipistu naru or miru kanipistu naru. You see, miru kanipistu naru. This is the meaning for you see miru kanipistu naru. Angry means angry. Okay. Kurudito. Miru kanipistu naru. This is the meaning, and but angry means kopanga. 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 So, Kopanga. Kopanga Kanipishnaru, it's okay. But as you said before, um, to be to be also, if we add, it will be more meaningful. Okay. You seem to be angry. Okay. So, to be. So, let me write the. Make this different color. Kopanga. Angry means Kopanga. You seem to be angry. Unnatluga. Mir kopanga unnatluga kanipistunaru. Now this sentence meaningful. Mir kopanga kanipistunaru, it's okay. That is also okay. But when we add, you seem to be angry. Mir kopanga unnatluga kanipistunaru. So it will be like little more meaning. So similarly, when you are practicing, you can say he. Okay. Uh, yeah, any adjective you can take. Then let's see one more. Can you tell me any other example? And for example, he. It seems easy to learn Telugu. Okay. Yeah. It seems. It seems easy. Easy. To learn. To learn Telugu. Yeah. 
yeah very nice sentence okay it seems okay Ani? so it seems seems means uh, we can say kanipistundi or anipistundi also fine so in this in this context we'll take the meaning of anipistundi okay let me take the translation then i will explain it is a little different structure but the overall uh, so if you look at here anipistundi meaning came okay so the difference is anipistundi kanipistundi is okay let me type the, bring this one then i will explain sometimes we use uh, like kanipistunnaru kanipistundi sometimes we use anipistundi anipistundi like, like that okay let me see the difference telugu nerchukodam telika ani telike anipistundi chudandi it seems let me put this one everything black then i will make color then i will explain okay it seems means anipistundi that is enough no need to translate the meaning of it okay so anipistundi okay. basic sentence okay then okay easy easy means telika telika it is telika telika <laughs> but in the sentence you will see telike chodi mm. easy easy means telika telika but why we used a sound just to emphasize like you know emphatic like a is emphatic marker easy only telike so somebody is asking is it easy yes it's very easy you are telling like it's so easy like that is easy only or so easy like that telike but the actual noun is telika and okay now to learn to learn means here actually earlier i discussed some uh, word uh, some different different forms of the verbs so that also i will write here again learn nechukonu nechukonu is the v1 okay v1 v1 now learn nechuko this is imperative <laughs> to learn this one nechu konuta nechu konuta to learn nechu konuta this is like you know this is the meaning as per the grammar but this form we never use in the spoken version we change to chirand form whenever we have to learn in this context we use change to chirand form learning nechu ko vadam so that's what we used here nechu ko vadam learning jiran form okay so there is another form with same spelling in the english language that is continuous form nechu kundu nechu kundu nechu kundu nanu okay ing form or continuous form we say like that okay so these are the variations and okay so here in this context we use this one so whenever you have easy to uh, think easy to eat easy to write so you need to use the gerund form dumb ending when you are making sentences no need to use ta meaning ta type this is only for the meaning okay purpose not for the speaking purpose next we have telugu okay the same okay uh okay and so now i want to explain why we used kanipistundi or kanipistunadu structure and and this are okay so here i will write one more sentence it seems uh, you are angry okay 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 so same sentence if i write differently see the difference it seems you are angry okay meeru kopanga natluga 
అనిపిస్తుంది మీరు కోపంగా ఉన్నట్లుగా అనిపిస్తుంది సో హియర్ వి యూస్డ్ ఇట్ ఇట్ సీమ్స్ మీన్స్ అనిపిస్తుంది ఇట్ సీమ్స్ అనిపిస్తుంది యూ సీమ్ మీన్స్ మీరు కనిపిస్తున్నారు దట్ ఈస్ ద డిఫరెన్స్ అండి సో ఇట్ సీమ్స్ అనిపిస్తుంది యు ఆర్ యాంగ్రీ మీరు కోపంగా ఉన్నట్లుగా ఆల్సో వి యాడ్ ఇట్ సీమ్స్ యు ఆర్ ఉన్నట్లుగా లైక్ ఉన్నట్లుగా మీన్స్ లైక్ యాజ్ యు ఆర్ యాజ్ యు ఆర్ సో ఈజ్ ఇట్ క్లియర్ అండి కెన్ యూ టెల్ మీ yes sir yes yeah. clear yeah some words we use like that only so we have to adapt to the language so unnatluga mm-hmm. as you are this is not the to uh, but uh, the basically unnatluga means like this as you are as you are this is the basic translation unnatluga okay so here anipistundi కనిపిస్తుంది దీస్ ఆర్ లిటిల్ సిమిలర్ బట్ ద మీనింగ్ ఈస్ డిఫరెంట్ బట్ రిలేటెడ్ సెంటర్ అనిపిస్తుంది మీన్స్ లైక్ యు నో ఐ ఫీల్ ఇట్ ఇన్ మై మై మైండ్ ఐ ఫీల్ ఇట్ ఇన్ మై మైండ్ అనిపిస్తుంది వెన్ ఇట్ వెన్ ఐ ఫీల్ సంథింగ్ ఇన్ మై మైండ్ లైక్ దట్ ఐ సే అనిపిస్తుంది ఐ ఫీల్ ఇట్ ఇన్ మై మైండ్ దిస్ వన్ కనిపిస్తుంది ఐ సీ ఇట్ it my eyes so this is the difference of it if i see okay. something with my eyes that you are like that you are angry or you are hungry i use kanipistun but based on my thinking style only if i want to say if i am thinking in my mind it is not showing like that but if i am thinking in my mind you are like that i can say anipistun this is the basic explanation deep now let's move to the next one how could you be so thoughtless okay so this is little different structure like the wh question no one the alochana lekunda ela unna very nice translation nice structure okay so with this we can have some more sentence also with this pattern okay this one i'll put start because we are into different structure now how could you be so thoughtless no and the alochana lekunda ela unnav okay so how could you be no vu ela unnav no vu ela unnav so so means we in this context we can say anta actually base, basically anta means that much that much ah, so in, in this context is also so is the same meaning like you know uh, that much thought less yeah yeah yes, yes, yes. let me write it <coughs> yeah alochana lekunda thoughtless thoughtless means alochana lekunda so here as earlier i said something alochana leni but here alochana lekunda we use but why we use like that when we say like the thoughtless action look at this one thoughtless action here we are describing the action like charya charya means action alochana le charya alochana leni charya this is thoughtless action okay but here we are telling you are like thoughtless so that means unnaru lekunda okay so here in this context it, like you know without lekunda means without so in this context we use without thoughts thought this is not the correct one but without thought alochana lekunda without so later when we have more sentences you will easily understand let's see the related sentences how could you be 
So here I need something, some adjective only. Can you describe anything? How could you be? So stupid. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's see. Uh, actually, most of the people, they use uh, English only, but there is a Telugu meaning also. Stupid means Telugu, Telugu takko vadu. Telugu takko vadu. The person who is having less knowledge. Okay. Miranta Telugu takko varuga. So, here, varuga, it is like a showing respect. But usually when we say this one, when we want to show respect, we don't use this stupid word. Usually we use for children or equal status people. So, vaniga. We can say without respect, not necessary to show. Miru also not required. Nubu. Nubu anta telivi takku vaniga yela unna hu. Like this. Okay. So, here stupid. Stupid means telivi. Generally, stupid man means Telivitakko Vaad. So, Telivitakko Vaaniga or Vaadiga, both are fine. So, you are like that stupid, that means Telivitakko Vaadiga, like that we are explaining. How could you, how could you means Nuvu Yela Nau. Nau. Sir, how are you, if you ask, that is also same, Yela Unna Ru. Yeah, how are you? Yes, yes, I will explain related words so it will be easy for you. In the previous one also, there are some related words I will discuss now. Okay. So, Telivi Takko Vadu, stupid. Here we are asking when we put this one as an adjective, Telugu Tako Vaduga, Vadiga, it will be like that. Okay. Mm. So again, if I say stupid, <coughs> now how could you be? How could you be means like uh, here we discussed already. Okay. If you say you could be, you could be. Miru. 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 Miru or Nubu. Okay. Nubu. We say singular. Nubu. Un. Na. Actually, here, we, if we are talking about future, it will be Un Tau. But depending on the situation, you could be. This is future. Okay. But sometimes, if we use as a as a past tense, it will be one. The past tense, it will be now, depending on the context. Now, past tense. You could be. So, how, when we add how, Nuvu Yela Unnavu or Nuvu Yela Unnavu. So, similar to how are you, that is also, yeah. But, could be, it is like the imagination, like, you know, we are imagining how you Future, could yes. position like that, okay? Okay, later you can practice with some words, adjectives only, then uh, if there is any error, we will discuss again. Now, let's go to the link, then we will get the next sentence. Next adjective, I am just going to Google. So, the previous adjective was thoughtless. This one. Uh, uptight, we don't use much. Worried, we use more. So, let's see the example sentences with the adjective worried. Okay. Let me get some real sentences from internet. Uh, sentences using worried. So, wake up. He said in the worried voice. Mm, yeah, this is also okay. Wake up, he said in a worried voice. This is okay. Sometimes we use this one. So here it is like the different structure, worried voice that is in adjective position. Okay. 
usually we use wake up like you le nidra le like that we use but let me get translation and i will explain meluko no there is something wrong let me modify as per the spoken telugu style meluko chundi meluko meluko means uh, wake up but this one we don't use like this in the spoken version in the spoken version we use a different word but when you are writing you can use meluko wake up that's okay okay so this one use it only written version but i will write the variation also first okay అతను ఆందోళన స్వరంతో అన్నాడు ఓకే మేలుకో అని అని మీన్స్ దట్ ఓకే అని అతను ఆందోళన స్వరంతో అన్నాడు యా దిస్ ఈస్ ఓకే ఓకే సో ఇఫ్ యూ వాంట్ టు చేంజ్ దిస్ వన్ ఇన్ టు స్పోకన్ స్టైల్ ఫార్మాట్ యూ కెన్ సే నిద్ర లే or it is not necessary to use nidra for example if somebody is sleeping you are going to wake him up you can say nidra le nidra le we say this le is complete word wake up wake up stand up nidra le nidra le but in the real life situations just while touching him usually we don't say nidra because it is understandable le 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 just is enough le le means like stand up stand up yeah so we can use le but it will be multiple types le 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 like that. okay le okay le ani atadu aandolana swaram to annadu it's okay it will be same ando tana swaram so annadu so worried voice so these things i'll put in same color and name to understand so meluko means at this time wake up means meluko or nidrale nidrale it is used in the spoken version Okay. then he said he said means atadu annadu atadu annadu atadu anna that means ani so the the meaning of that i will write here only because in the telugu sentence it is not there but in the english sentence it is not there but ani means that in your worried voice in means low um, worried voice worried minds voice means andolana swaram here they use so, the translation to let me write here in means low with means to it means to if you look at here okay let me write this one also worried voice ando dana so here they used with worried voice in stuff in worried voice in the telugu translation andolana swaram so this is a modified version but swaram lo annadu that doesn't sound good that's why we changed to with okay so i think it is clear uh, with yes. voice yeah now let's move to the next one worried voice this one i'll put it in the same color no no not this andolana swaram to andolana swaram yo andolana swaram is just noun and we added with meaning okay. now let's move to the next one and so worried okay there are some more sentences just for practice we'll see i am worried that he might get lost okay so i am worried that he might get lost yeah this is also nice structure 
we will use this one also for practice. So, I am worried. Let me get the translation, then we will discuss. Atan tapi pota de moonani nenu bayapadu nanu. Yeah. This is purely spoken Telugu style. Okay. So, I am worried. If you look at the word, okay, let me write the, let, let me change the colors, then we will discuss. I am worried. Nenu bayapadu nanu. I am worried. Nenu bayapadu nanu. Purely spoken Telugu style. That, that means ani. That he might, that he get lost. Okay. Okay. We will keep everything, but I will explain separately. So it will be easy to understand. Because here I cannot break this one. Okay. So now I am worried. I am worried means nenu bhayapartunana. Actually, worry means ando lana. This is noun. Worry means andolana. Okay. So when I say I am worried, if you use in the written style, Nenu Ando Lana Chendu Tunanu Chendu Andola Patunana Andola Chentuna. Yeah, this is okay. Andola Chentunana. This is a written version only. We don't use in the spoken version, written version only. Okay. So in the spoken version, I am worried. Name Bayapadunanu. Mostly people change this one to like you know, I am getting scared. I'm getting scared. This is the meaning we use. So spoken Telugu. Okay. So the modified meaning is I am getting scared so with this meaning we use to translate i am worried okay scare 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 means bhayo bhayo okay scare uh, scare means bhayo as a noun okay? now so scare as a verb it is bhaya padu bhaya padu this is v1 verb in base form now, if I say he is scaring, atadu haya padu tu unnadu. Atadu bhaya padu tu unnadu, but in the short form, but bhaya padu tu unnadu. Okay. So similarly, I am scaring, nenu bhaya padu tu unnadu, or I am scared. Like that also sometimes uh, we use like that. Okay, so here I am worried means we use as a modified meaning as in I am getting scared or like that. Is it clear Andy? Um, sir, is it? Yes, clear? sir. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that he might get lost. So here we have a little new structure. That means ani. It is always that means ani. Let me write here clearly. That means ani. So ani word is here. Ani word is here. Okay. But the formation will be like this. He might. So we have new structure now. He might plus B1. Okay. So when you are making sentences in this pattern, it will be like this. He might go. He might go. So the meaning will be like this. Go means well look. Okay. So we will have two patterns. He might go means atadu, veltadu, kavachu. This is one pattern and the other me the other one atadu velta demo. Velta demo. Velta demo. Yemo. Yeah. Yemo. Yemo. Yemo means like, you know, Yemo means I am not sure. Yemo means I am not sure or I don't know. This is the meaning of Yemo. So here, okay, let me write the other one. He 
goes atadu veltadu so look at this one he goes means atadu veltadu you are sure but if you say he might go here you are not sure so you need to add emo word because emo means i am not sure or i don't know so atadu veltadu plus emo becomes atadu veltade emo he might go that is important because you are adding that unsure thing the meaning the meaning of emo that uh, i am not sure here kavachu this is also another pattern this is also in use in the spoken version you can also say atar veltad kavachu he might go atar veltad emo both are correct okay so now let's make one more set so when you are practicing you use two pattern because two are in the use in the telugu language and they are interchangeable some people say like this some people say like this okay uh, you may also give almost same meaning so we can put may or might both are okay okay but uh, yeah for now we'll see like this you might go okay so one more thing and most of the times uh, this may we use for the future might we use for the past tense okay hmm. so if we use this one for the past tense okay let me write this one as a future one he may go atadu veltadu kavachu atadu veltade emo okay so this one if i make like a past tense it will be like this atadu vellade emo vellade kavachu vellade vellade kavachu atadu vellade emo look at the difference so here i will write i will write that past tense also he went atadu velladu okay so here we added kavachu okay, uh, this one i need to change to might not yes might. yeah so when we are talking about past tense it will be velladu velladu kavachu means might or may okay but based on the past tense or future tense you will change here okay then if you use other structure you can use veltadu or velladu then plus emo to say emo the meaning of might or may okay so let's make two more sentences and with the same with a different word then it will be more clear to you then he may eat okay then i will write other one also he might eat okay i will give you the meaning of eat then you can try and if you want i will i will give you the meaning of uh, simple present tense and simple uh, that should be past tense also or you can try eat first you try to attempt this one then you change it to might and may structure he ate atadu tintadu yes perfect atadu tintadu yeah just for now you just put this one with this one atadu tintadu okay now you can see this one tinta demo tintadu emo yeah tintadu emo that is one time you can use the first structure also tintaru kavachu yes atadu yes kavachu add karna anukuntunna yes he may eat atadu tintaru kavachu or atadu tintademo like that now let's make the past tense can you attempt to tinnadu perfect and excellent atadu tinnadu yeah so now we use this one in this style he might eat tinnadu tinnadu kavachu perfect atu tinnadu kavachu you can say like that then the other pattern interchangeable format will pattern will be this atu tinnadu perfect atu tinnade mo atu tinnade mo yeah i think uh, you are uh, 
translating very very, very well and so no need to practice much with this one but later you try some more and uh, send me for any corrections then we will discuss if there are any mistakes if there are no yeah. mistakes that means good to go you can use them uh, without any problem in your conversations um, okay now still we have three minutes let's continue with the new pattern okay and so next we okay let me see if there are any other sentences with this uh, she had a worried look on her face she had a worried look on her face okay let's try this one with this also there is an adjective but we will find some new structures with this okay. she had she had means okay let me translate the full sentence then we will have the small small related phrases ame mukham lo digulu kanipinchindi excellent translation okay so okay so she had okay uh, let me write uh, let me change the colors then we will discuss she had a worried look so this one i cannot break but later i will give you some more sentences the whole phrase meaning is she had a worried worried look means ame mukamlo nahi ame we cannot yes yes so we cannot break this one but i will give you the individual meanings uh, separate, if i use separately for example she had she had means ameku undi if you say anything she had ameku undi or ame degara undi ame degara undi so here degara means okay ameku means to her ame degara means near her in that context we use okay if she has something before not now had because had is passions she had a car undedi actually this is undedi undedi not undi if it is have like has it is in, she has it is undi but if it is past tense undedi so this one i will change again she had ameku undi so ame degara undi okay now here you can write anything she had a house okay so here ameku oka illu undedi ameku oka illu undedi illu ame degara here we don't use this ame degara no because in the context we don't use like this okay so if it is movable object we can say degara but how is it not undi ame ko ka other one she has i think this session will end at, at any time and we will continue tomorrow so she yes. has ame ko ka illu undi 